One of the guys, one of the NBA players that was doing the IV with me, Luke Wallen. See, uh, the coach, the old coach of the late. Yeah, he's a sack he's, coach now. Yeah, Chris, you're. Uh, but anyways, old, I'm very good I, friends with him and his wife. He's merge. a sweetheart. Um, but Rupert's not like Bill Walton at all. Rupert, the problem with Rupert is, he's the guy that, um, literally, if you ran into him today, on the street, he's just shopping at Natural Grocer. He's in that tie-dye tank top because he wants to be recognized. And there's something about that that irritates other players. He also won a million for fan favorite and like. It's the same problem I have I with... I feel like his first season, though, he was like a poverty guy, bus driver, happy-go-lucky son of a gun, before he grabbed that persona. So, part of the reason I like him so much is his wife is amazing, and I spent time with them both, and I actually, I don't know, I just really liked Rupert. He was kind of fatherly to me. I was really upset. When we were in loser camp for Amazing Race, we had to go to Greece to a house, which sounds a lot better than it is. It really was real bad, and I was in a real bad spot. It was. There wasn't any alcohol. Does that... Yeah, help. that sounds like And there hell. was no music, and there was no nothing. You just are stuck in a silent house. Um, they weren't and I was, go outside the house? No. You couldn't leave. You could, I mean, there was some, some was property. Or anything? You could see the ocean, but you couldn't get in it without a handler. No. Anyways, I was like, one day I was like basically hysterically crying. And I'm not a crier at all. Like, you'll actually probably never see me on reality TV cry at all. I don't cry in real life. But I was really, I had had enough. And he just talked me off the ledge. He's just very fatherly in that way. So while everyone else dislikes him, I really like him. Nice. Sorry, I dropped my microphone while I was also trying to type in the answer to get into the password for our next questions. I did have questions about Rupert because I do feel like, yeah, he won that fan favorite million. So I was always like, I wonder if everyone's kind of like. Yeah, everyone hates him. I don't. He's a try hard, but yeah. But weirdly, like, I thought that, like, we were really super tight. And then post-race, he gave interviews. All of his post-race interviews, him and his wife, Laura, who I feel very close to, were like, we hated the Survivor girls. Like, us, me and Eliza. And I was like, wait, what? (laughs) So they, like, they ran us through the mud. Um, So do y'all have, like, a group text? Like, Yes. Is it all... Like you mentioned 500, or is it like the oh, no, not for, or like no, 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 just no, no, no. your season? How do you all So con- there's a private con- Facebook page for all previous uh, Survivor players that you can talk to other players on. But group text-wise, yes, we had a group text for my Amazing Race season, not for everyone. Awesome. I love it. What were said in there? Anything y'all, you can... You can spell out all here on the podcast. Nah, People it's not that juicy. I actually asked to be taken off the group thread once we were off the show because I did. I was like, it bums me out to hear you guys like making inside jokes and talking about memories that I couldn't be a part of. So I'm out. Like, I wish you the best, but I'm I'm out. So I am no longer on the group text. Well, we hate Thanks, that one. Karen. Well, you can be in our group text. Thanks. It's, it's new a- click. Yeah, and it's a squad fun, alert. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We we, we go around town. We How drunk, long have you guys known each other? I don't know. Uh, Speaking of the mic, I don't know. Like what? Seven, eight years. Uh, we have the same friend group, um, but he were he worked in the restaurant industry. Yeah, I moved out here in 2010 and. Probably met you around like 2012 or so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was moved out here in 11, and we had common friends with where we'd all be like on the same party bus going to a concert or Red Rocks or something. Oh, yeah. So that was my main mistake. I've been told there's that show bus, right? Yeah. Well, we used to do like private ones with just our friends, but the show bus gets pretty fucking rowdy. I would recommend at least trying it once. They pick up at a couple different locations. I don't like electronic music. Yeah, we're not. We're more jam band music. What's your well, music of choice? I mean, my number one music of choice outside of Dave Matthews is country. I like reggae. I went to Reggae Fest. That's the only thing I did at Red Rocks. But I had such a bad experience at Red Rocks. Like, I lost all my friends. It was bad. Um, and I ended up, it was like $120 to get home. I had to walk to the bottom of the mountain. Like, I was like, who the fuck would do this? This is awful. It's just a standard concert. It it's not like, like I went Fire to Fest Stagecoach. Like, it was so much pomp and circumstance for some bullshit. Yeah, that sucks for your first experience there. So I got to do it right maybe next time with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to pick a good one. You got to have a good plan to get out of there. Otherwise, sometimes it does suck. And then, like, I very rarely buy tickets, but I bought in advance tickets to um, Third Eye Blind. Uh, yeah, I went to that. I had to bail because it was raining. Yeah, I was there. Well, did uh, I miss a lot? The, no, don't. Love it, Pavilion? Yeah. Yeah, we were there. Shout out to our friends of Live Nation. No, it sucked ass. Because and they were, like, trying to give tickets away at a certain point. Like, 
I I did sound check and it just started dumping and yeah. I was like, fuck this. And I Luckily, love Third Eye Blind. We have an intern who's not here. He loves you, by the way. Oh. Shout out to Zane. Sorry, he can't make it. But uh, we... Fuck you. What does he have going on that he couldn't make it if he loves me so much? Rude. I may have forgotten to tell him that we were doing that. <laughs> Probably so. We kind of forget that Zane's around, but we love him nonetheless. Shout if he's out. listening to this, Zane, if you're listening to this, text... Zane, how tall are you? Yeah, text me. Uh, not tall enough. Text me your height, and I'll know that you actually pay attention to your fucking job here at No Vacancy. He's not tall enough for whatever you're interested for. Um, all right, so we have another section for you, our segment for you. It's going to be called Rapid Fire by our friends at Broadway Market, located at 950 Broadway Street. The home of seven different restaurants, coffee, teas and shit, candles, all sorts of stuff, full bar, coffee in the mornings, they open all day. And I think Daniel Oshkar is the best place that we have going today that we're going to eat a little lamb Kafka. So I'd recommend come down here, try them all, see which one's your favorite, and report back to us if you like one. And you tell us in our Instagram, we'll give you a $20 gift card to the restaurant of your choosing. Oh, that you could use on a date and turn off the girl. There you go. Yeah. Will it turn them off? <laughs> no, not me. I like a good deal. I like it. So if you're 20, in between the age of 20 and 24 and 6'4 and 6'9, mm-hmm. like Holler to make a, a discount? Holler at Current Sanity is my Twitter and my Instagram. Target Slide into my DMs. DMs. Yeah. Which one do you use more time on? Instagram. I hate Twitter. I just do it because I have to. Yeah, see, so yeah, I don't even... I hate Twitter as well. I'll vent It's so boring sports. to me. It's the yeah. worst. So this is called Rapid Fire, and we usually do this or that questions, but usually it's... It's kind of based off of guests. Okay. But we have a couple staples that we ask everyone. Sadly enough, I already have one answer down in the pot. So Chris is already up one to zero. You ready? Okay. Coffee or espresso? Wait, what? Coffee or espresso? Oh. <laughs> I thought you said Spolstra, like Eric Spolstra. I'm like, I would take that heat, coach. <laughs> um, uh, espresso. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it sounded like you said. Yeah, you want to bang the guy from Chips. We get it. <laughs> Vodka or gin martini? Gin martini. Real world or road rules? Ugh. Neither. I, real world if I have to. Mountains or beach? Mountains. Wheel of Fortune or Price is Right? Uh, my ex won Wheel of Fortune. Uh, this How stupid... many fucking people did you date in television? Mm, not that many, but this one. He won. He's like a rocket scientist. He was really smart. He didn't even have any letters up, and he guessed it. So he got... 60 grand, a Mini Cooper, and a trip for two to any Sandals uh, vacation destination. We went to St. Lucia. He sucked. So what's the other one? Price is right. I'll take Price I'm is right. Out so Wait, time people. out. Yeah, so there's got to be some inner fucking workings. There's no way you just incidentally bang and date a bunch of guys. He's that not were famous. On- I met him in Belize on vacation for some, just a regular vacation, and he turned out to be that he had just shot an episode of Wheel of Fortune. He's an idiot. I mean, like, personality-wise, but... Smarts wise, he literally guessed a puzzle with no letters. Well, that's fair. I guess I'll never do that. Yeah, so whatever. I, I mean, but I mean, dating two people that have been on television, like that's just too. I lived I in New York and LA. It's very common that you yeah. Know, yeah, like I'm oh wait, asking, I was on The Price Is Right. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, I have. I'll send you the picture. Yeah, they let a bunch of survivors do The Price Is Right. <laughs> I'm like that sounds really familiar. Jeez, it was really boring. Did you make the showcase round? No, I'm I did. Worried like, about you. we need to get you more gin or maybe a lot less gin. <laughs> um, I just, it, uh, yeah. Shout out to any game shows. Time out. Price is right. Has to win if you were on it. Well, <laughs> I was in the audience with a bunch of other people, and then only a few of them played, and I wasn't one of them that played. Uh. But I was like showcase, like I had the little tag, and they had uh, maybe 20 of us from Survivor and then a couple of us played alright Chris is going to ask you the last um, f- okay. start going after Price is Right Wheel of Fortune um, that's still impressive uh, uh, booze or weed I don't smoke weed I've taken edibles to go to sleep instead of Ambien I've tried um, I tend to freak out like I my famous story is like I thought my asshole was blinking and I called a friend and I was like I I think my asshole's blinking I don't know if I should go to the ER and 
Screw <laughs> this interview gets a better. I don't know if that was so, sweet or not, but I, yeah. This is definitely going to be the best two part episode <laughs> I've ever heard. East or West Coast rap? Oh, West Coast. Double Dare or Family Feud? <gasps> Double Dare. Take the physical challenge. Oh, my God. Did you see? They're, they're on tour. I thought they were coming back. Mark Summer. Yeah, they're okay. coming back. Okay. Mark Summers was great on the doing the Travel Channel's food episodes. Also. He has severe um, OCD. Like, severe, severe. Like, was hospitalized. My brother has severe OCD. Okay, no, yeah. like, you could Like, he did Double Dare where they, like, put their hands up a nose the and they're slime. You got to grab the flag. Yeah and, yeah, and he is like, don't touch my hand. Don't. Like, he's nuts. Oh, uh, you know, Howie Mandel has a, yes. a germophobia as well. But uh, Mark Summers, like, literally had to, like, be hospitalized for it. Okay, uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple or Guts? I don't know either Do you of those. remember those? Is one Indiana Jones? No, yeah. Legends what of the Hidden like... Temple, the game where you run through and there was like... I'm significantly older than you. I could do Nintendo, like Contra or sig- Duck Hunt. Yes, you are. Well, it was a game show, but you remember Guts, don't you? Like, All right. What I about feel like, was press... that the next division on Nickelodeon? Maybe. I kind of... Gladiators press... or American Ninja Warrior? What about Press Your Luck? No. I don't, know, I don't know what these things are. Why, why do I feel like? How do you not know violated? what gladiators? I know is. what I know what American Ninja Warrior and gladiators are, but I don't know what the difference between Tommy the two Boy was. Tommy Boy or Mall Rats? Mall Rats. Oh, all day. <laughs> Whoa. Oh really? my God! I memorized. Um, I manually masturbate caged animals for artificial insemination, so that I could say that every time someone in LA asked me what I did for a living, because I was under the impression when you moved to LA, everyone's like, "What do you do?" So I memorized that. And best, wait, best full circle moment, backstage at a Comedy Central roast, I meet Ben Affleck, and I said to him, I go, just so you know, like, this is, I I learned this from your movie, and I told him the line, he's like, it's it's fucking fantastic. He's like, of all the people that have come up to me with something to say, like, solid opener. That's twice as good as the joke that Harvey Weinstein told me yesterday. (laughs) Something like that. (laughs) I can it was say, before the Weinstein thing. I can say that. Only, only 25 people. <laughs> I mean, tens of thousands of listeners mm-hmm. around the world. All right, so Colorado or Cali? Colorado. There you go. I didn't Big think... fan. I love it here. And you guys are going to teach me more about no. the town, right? Uh, what's it called? Yeah. yeah, what do you want to know about the town? Just tell me, like, the hot spots. All right, so you're close with Los Chingones. That that corner is actually pretty popping. But I would recommend going into like cart driver for what they call late night happy hour. And you may not okay. be feeling food, but they have a late night pizza deal they do. It's like cheap, but it's always popping with young folks. You know, so, similar folks to our age, as well as that back patio is going. And there's I usually, never heard of this cart driver. Yeah, it's literally a caddy corner to Los Chingones behind working class. Oh, my God. I wondered. It always felt like there was something more in that. Because yeah. Uchi is, like, on the other side of that. Yeah, yeah, if you kept walking. Yeah, so walking towards Uchi is there. I can't believe I've been missing that this whole time. I have a question for you, Shoot. and this will determine whether we can hang out or not. Do you like Avanti? Oh, shit, but maybe no, they're a sponsor. No, fucking hate I hate it. I literally I talked about that. I absolutely hate I've it. I've been there, like, twice, maybe. I'm so confused. I keep trying to make it happen, and I'm like, this is terrible. Stop terrible flow. Stop making happen. It's not yeah, happening. Yeah, it's not happening. I hate it. I made yeah. it. I, I did a whole post a couple of weeks ago when I went to go review. A friend of ours just opened a restaurant. If you do happen to find yourself stuck in Avanti with the shitty bartenders and the Chads, the Thads, the Brads, yeah. the Karens and the Beckys and all of the fucking people <laughs> that wish they were in the Burbs but haven't been able to yeah. afford the house yet. Go check out our buddies over at Street Feud. They have kind of like a stoner style food, but it's street foods from all over the country. So I'd really recommend okay. that. But Avanti really is like it's you a gargle a bag of dicks. I hate Avanti. It's the cooler full of dicks. I'm so confused. Every I I can't even explain how many dates have been like. Let's meet at Avanti. I'm like, come on. I refuse to go there. In fact, when we were there, I got messages too. Like I thought you hated it, and I'm like, I do hate this yeah. place. I'm <laughs> I here stand to support a friend. So thank you very much. So, yes, great re- rebuttal there. Um, all right, let's see. What else are you missing? I think roll, right now Lola over in Lohi has kind of revamped their menu. They've opened up their space. It looks a little bit more summertime. So I'm less confer- concerned about food and more concerned about where do single people meet other single people. I want to go somewhere where there's never going to be a child. There's not going to be married people. I mean, I think there's fair amounts of people that do that all around. I think one place you'd want to do is like a tavern at a happy hour. 
or something because there's young business professionals. I think Union Station does well. Have you been to the new area in the Dairy Block? There's a bar called Run for the Roses. There's a little bit more affluent people hanging out there. Okay. That, a helpful. little bit steeper cocktails, happy hour, our appetizers that have 